Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for this week's snapshot. Today we're going to talk about quick checks. Quick checks are internal payments that you can create for non-stock goods or services immediately paid by cash using quick check forms and accounts payable. Today's agenda, we're gonna go through how to process a quick check, printing a quick check, and also avoiding a quick check. In Acumatica, you can use two different setups. This is the user interface that I choose to use, which is the new modern user interface. You can also use the older user interface, which if you go to your user and go to your profile, you can go to show classic user interface by default. I particularly like to use the new user interface. So to get to quick checks, we go to the payables module and go into quick checks. To create a new quick check, Click on the plus to enter a new quick check. There's two types of quick checks. You can create a new quick check or void a quick check. We're gonna create a new one. You need to choose your vendor. Today I'm gonna choose my consulting. And the payment method for a quick check, you'll need to make sure that you use check cash, or credit card. Drop in a description and make sure that you add your document details. You can add as many summary lines as you need to for whatever non-stock item or service that you are going to be paying for. Enter your cost as well as your account. Once you have entered your information for your payment, you'll see that your document is on hold. And as soon as you take it off, you'll notice that your status immediately turns to pending print. Pre-release, release, and void are three statuses that are not available in Quick Check until your pending print is printed. You need to print a check in order to have any available statuses. Printing a quick check. Now that we need to print our quick check, we go to actions and print check. Everything down here is available to be able to print a check. It says up here, it says process and print checks and go ahead and print the check. Here you see you have your check available to print. There's your print icon. And you also have the ability to export to Excel, also to PDF, or you also have the ability to send via email. We'll go ahead and close this form and it takes us back to release payment. Here's our check that we wanted to print, or that we did print. And now we wanna go ahead and release that. So we're gonna go ahead and process that check for release and there it shows that it's been processed successfully. And we'll go ahead and click on our reference number to take us back to the check. And here it shows our quick check. Status is now closed. And if we go to the financial details into our batch number, it shows us that our consulting account number it shows that the $150 fee has been debited and our checking account has been credited $150. So this quick check has now been processed and it has been posted. Voiding a quick check. In the event you posted a quick check and you realized, for example, say, the payment amount should have been $250 rather than $150. Because it is now closed, there's no way you can go in and change a payment or change anything for that matter. What's gonna to have to happen is now you need to void a quick check. Because it's now closed, the void option is now available. 
go ahead and click on void. And you'll see our type has changed from quick check to void quick check. The status has changed from closed to on hold. Now we can take it from off hold, which now changes our status to balanced, which means now release has become available. Go ahead and release. And you can see it's processing. The green check is now saying that our process has completed and our void quick check is now closed. We can go down here into our batch number that's processed. And now our consulting fees have credited $150. And our check-in account has debited the $150 back. Status is now posted and our voided check is now closed. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, refer to the link. You can also join our LinkedIn user group and if you have any questions or feedback about these snapshots or would like to make a recommendation, feel free to contact me at 877-454-3200-6346 or shoot me an email at hkim at nimsassociates.com. Thank you.